Okay, I'm going to show you how to do replications without having to rely on periodic snapshots. You can just do manual ones anytime you want, which I find quite handy because I don't like to have my backup server up all the time. I don't want to have it on when doing manual um, replications when I've you know added some stuff or deleted some stuff, whatever. I still have periodic snapshots because they come in handy, um, you know, for going back in in time as it were. So I've got this um, these two servers running. They're actually VMs, but one's the main server, the other one's backup server. I like to have the darker background on the backup server so you can tell where you are because yeah, as you can see there's a bit, a bit confusing they're the same colour alright so I've just got some um, just one pool on the backup backup lake and one pool which I like having the icons rather than the words and I've got one pool with the data set videos and two data sets under there so here's what they look like on a Windows machine like one videos movies music videos and then on the backup we haven't got anything Obviously, because I haven't done anything yet. So, go back up. Now, first, we want to set up a connection between the two servers. And we'll do this with um, secure shell out of connection. We'll call it backup S S H and we want the URL of the uh, backup server which is here. So I'll just copy that. Username root password whatever it is private key generate a new one and that looks all good now we go to the peer, um, replication tasks add and we want to do advanced name videos I'll push it transport secure shell there's a secure shell connection source videos destination back up like and we'll we don't want it to go there we'll set up create a new data set we'll call it B videos on the backup server recursive yes so we've got movies and music videos properties we don't want to do periodic snapshots although I, I will have periodic snapshots running but not to replicate now this one we want to put our manual ones the schema for manual which is I just happen to have the format here this is what will be created when you do a manual snapshot so 
That's a scammer. No, automatic. Um, retention only, same as source. That's about it. Save it. Okay, so now whenever you've updated some stuff or whatever. Oh, of course you want to do the first one. We'll do the first first replication. So the backup server's up. And it's just a matter of going to your pool, picking your data set, and creating a snapshot. Recursive, create snapshot. And then go to your replication. And so this is new in 11.3. So run now. Go for it. And it should pick up that snapshot. There we go. And it's running. So the first one will do take a while because it does all your data subsequent we'll just do the differential so we we'll, might fast forward this and there we have it it's finished so we'll have a look at a windows machine all that stuff and videos movies music videos so it's all done so now if we happen to delete some stuff off your live one we can go to take another snapshot Recursive. Yeah. We'll replicate that. Run now. And you can see by the time it's finished, pretty quick because it was wasn't much there. And refresh. And all that's gone. Okay, I hope that was helpful. Bye for now.